The Denver Broncos brought Austin Fort in as an undrafted free agent and he made a strong push to make the roster. There were even some reporting that he had made the roster before an injury shut him down for the year. For only entering his second year, he is an older, inexperienced player as he just turned 25 years old in May. He went to college at the University of Wyoming, where he didn't have many receiving chances. While in college, he only caught 17 passes for 221 yards, but he went there as a quarterback that was converted to tight end, so there was going to be some hiccups early on with his play. Denver brought him in and he immediately started getting attention from coaches and media members with what he was showing. It was unexpected, but a very pleasant surprise for the team. They have lacked talent at tight end for a while, and here was an undrafted player really stepping up. It wasn't just as a blocker, but he was making plays as a receiver as he fought for the roster. It was a great preseason from Fort before he got hurt and had to miss a season. Now he's working back from an injury in the worst offseason possible to be coming back from an injury. Not only is that an issue for Fort, but the battle for a spot is a lot tougher with a new scheme and the talent they added. It seems like a long shot for Fort to make the roster this year. There is a chance for Fort to make it, but again, it's a long shot. It seems a lot more likely that he will find himself a spot on the practice squad, but if he bounces back and plays as he did in the 2019 preseason, that will cause some problems for the other tight ends. Fort Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Eric Trickle.